Hello everyone. Well, it's uh, another Electrolux to look at. This is a new in the box Electrolux. It's not vintage by any stretch of the imagination. It's an old model, um, but it was discontinued a few years ago. I'm not quite sure how many years ago, um, but it's still fairly old and not very common to find them in their sealed boxes. This is Electrolux's state-of-the-art bagless upright with the most sophisticated advanced cyclonic system. It makes Dyson cleaners look like carpet sweepers. The way that this can extract dirt and separate it from the airstream is unrivaled. And if you believe that, you're extremely gullible because I believe the cyclonic system on this machine and similar ones is absolute pants. So uh, <laughs> now we've got a chance to have a look at a cyclonic system of one of these in absolutely mint, unused condition. Anyway, this is an Electrolux cyclonic light. It's 1500 watts. It uh, has a large dustbin, cleans carpets and hard floors integrated hose and tools on board what's the model number folks if you're interested the model it's made in the prc people's republic of china it's model z4393 a and the color is black and the destination is the united kingdom now i think i think this would have been branded eureka if you're watching this in the united states or canada so here we go. I think this has been opened and resealed because it's got two lots of tape on it. But opening it does reveal... Oh! <laughs> wow! What on earth? Now that is a first for my channel. I'm not going to eat it. They are small. Aren't lolly... That can't be right. That lollipop looks minute. <laughs> a lollipop has fallen out. Well, that's going straight in the bin. It's It could be laced with anthrax, I'm not sure. Wow. <laughs> that's bizarre. Right, I'll put that to one side. And we can see, obviously, there's some assembly required. The handle needs assembly. The machine, I don't know if you can quite see, the base of the cleaner is here. So I think we'll pop it up this way and uh, slide it out. Well, this uh, wand fell out of its own accord. Yeah, it's a, a nesting wand. There we go. Here's the handle. Yeah, it feels fairly, feels fairly solid for a made in China vacuum. Here we have a non-stretch, non-stair cleaning hose. Well, there's a little bit of stretch. I don't know how crush proof that will be if you were to tread on it, but mm, yeah, it's one of those, this sort of hose you'd find on really cheap Bissells and the cheaper Hoovers, like the Tempo, that didn't have the stretch hose, very similar sort of thing. And I think we'll just be able to, oh, I thought I'd be able to pull it out, but whoops a daisy, there we are, that's it, okay, that's everything out, this is definitely unused. I think with this model, I think we are into the 2000s. I don't think it's as early as 90s. I'm pretty sure by by this era, we've, we're into the 2000s now. And this is when Electrolux were really not very good, to be honest. I don't know, it's like Hoover. They moved all the production to China. Electrolux were bringing out all sorts of different machines. I think some were 
sort of Swedish made from this era. Um, some were Chinese made. Some, I think, may, maybe were assembled in Mexico. But yeah, I'm pretty sure the, the Eureka brand in the USA had a connection with Electrolux. I don't know if it does anymore. So if you're watching this, as I said, you, you probably know this as a Eureka if you're not in the UK. It's a nice flex on this, to be honest. I don't know what it is about, um, sort of, it's not an American made vac, but it is. It has got a lot of hints of being destined for America. Because it has a very, quite a nice ribbed cable. Obviously we've got the fitted UK plug on this one. Got a little warning. Thank you for purchasing your new Electrolux vacuum cleaner. If in the unlikely event you experience any problems with this product, do not take it back to the shop. Please telephone the Electrolux customer helpline on 08706 055 055 or if you've got a fax machine, you can fax on 01582 588380. And then it starts telling you to ring the helpline if you get any faults within the first 12 months. And also you can ring to obtain bags, well not bags for this, but filters or any other accessories you need. Right, here is the instruction book. And where is, where are my scissors? Here they are, if I can reach over. There we go. Let's have a look. Uh, oops. So inside this bag, oh well that's that's nice. We've got a spare belt. There's also a couple of screws, which I assume we need for the handle. We've got a little crevice tool. And one of these awful things quite similar. I've got British made, Luton made Electrolux cleaners. The Airstream I think had a similar sort of dual purpose nozzle. So with this one we can take the hose. You see it's got two holes so oh that's not gonna, the, oh it's this way around, that's the way. So if you put the hose or the wand into the lower part there, then we've got suction coming through that side. So whoops a daisy for the upholstery. And if you want to do your dusting, you just put it in that one, I think. Yes. And then you've got medium soft, not too soft, little triangular dusting brush there. Not, not the best really, but anyway, this would have been fairly cheap. And I believe you could get bagged versions of this, which would be, in my opinion, ultimately better than this setup here. Pretty sure these would have clogged up pretty quickly, especially if they weren't looked after, which let's face it, most vacuum cleaners purchased by regular consumers aren't really cared for. So you can see there, look, there is a bagged version much nicer. I, they did ones called Stairmaster, I believe, and they had a back saver. This doesn't have a back saver handle. There were similar models with a, a sort of a curvy handle that was supposed to be easier on your back. But we've got pretty comprehensive instructions here. Don't really get instructions like this these days. So there is some assembly, we've got the handle to assemble obviously. It tells you how to replace the belt and check for blockages, all the usual things. So the first thing I think we shall do is pop the handle on. I stand corrected, the instructions say you must insert the hose before you put the handle in. So there's a little sticker at the top here. Important, you must insert the hose adapter before attaching the handle. Remove this sticker and proceed. Insert and push the hose adapter into opening on top of unit. Screw handle into place only when tab is completely under the ledge of the machine. So we'll take that little sticker off and reveal a hole. So this is the end, I believe. Yes, this is the end that goes into the machine. 
there is a little uh, what do you call that thing a sticky out thing there look and then there's a sticky in thing there so I'm assuming we make contact with the sticky in bit yes so it just pushes in as far as I can see and obviously to hold that in place we need to attach the handle which looks like it pushes from the back of the cleaner does it we've got a mains cable coming out of the back there ah yes there is uh huh ah. oh it does hold it there is it's a bit hard to see because it's all black but that little doobery thing that sticks out is covered by the handle when the handle's inserted correctly so the hose shouldn't pop out so you just slide it in look and then there are two holes to fit the two screws so we'll just put those in but we've got a date wheel we've got a date wheel i've just noticed i'll have a look at that in a minute have i got my screwdriver i did have it out because i've just unboxed another vacuum before this one and I had to here we go I had to check the plug so we'll do this up folks won't bother editing this I don't think anybody anybody will be watching this video to assemble theirs unless they've managed to get a new in the box one and I don't think people would be wanting to buy this these days right so that basically I think is assembly just before I put all the tools on and we'll have a guided tour of the cleaner, I'll just have a look at this date wheel if I can see it. It's very hard to see in this light. I'm gonna to have to hold it a bit closer. Uh, 05, mm, so it's quite old, uh, not old, new. It's definitely not 95, I think this is 2005. So yeah, it, I think it's 2005. So, you know, it's a few years old. Yes, it's certainly not 95. 2005 does seem about right to me. Okay, so where do we, where do we put this hose? Well, it looks like it hooks over the top here, over a big hook, and then secures just here. You can see where it goes in. So that pushes into place. And then we can just secure it halfway up here, look. Just goes in there. So that holds that into place. So where does the tools go? Ah, I can see where this tool goes. This goes here, I believe. Just pushes on. I don't suppose it matters which way, but for me, I think I prefer it with the dusting brush facing down. It looks better, so that's where the two-in-one nozzle goes and we've just got to find a little place for the crevice tool it looks like the crevice tool goes here so just push that there into place and then finally we've got the wands which go in here just through the hole at the top and secure it at the bottom it'll only go in one way because it's wider at the top here so there we go, that's assembly completed. And of course we've got the mains cable, so where do we wrap that up? Oh, I can see. Well, we've got a nice carry handle here on the back and the cord, we've got two fixed hooks. One fixed hook at the bottom and a fixed hook here at the top. So we'll just quickly wrap the cord around and then I'll take you on a little bit of a tour of this Electrolux starting with the business end, the underside of the cleaner and then of course we'll turn the machine on I don't expect this will be very quiet uh, there's no little clip to secure the, the cable so it's a little bit loose okay then it doesn't look bad at all I mean it's uh, yeah, it's not as bad as I expected it to be, to be honest, but I've not switched it on. Let's turn the machine over and have a look at the business end. This is very reminiscent of the Hoover Tempo, the one, the American one that I imported a while back. Very similar looking brush roll. 
maybe not quite as stiff but they are fairly stiff brushes on this obviously this is just a single motored machine there is um, a belt drive here obviously and a belt spindle so we don't have a separate motor to drive the agitator but yeah it looks looks okay I think where this machine is probably going to be let down is the cyclonic system I suspect the bagged versions of these would have been a better choice really but of course people were wanting bagless cleaners here's the wheel carrier which moves up and down according to obviously the setting you have we'll have a quick look at the old rating plate which is just located here so this is model CE06082, I think that says, type Z4393A, product number 900251985. And then there's a serial number, which I won't bother reading out to you. Electronics made in PRC. This is the exhaust filter on the back of this cleaner. Genuine filter, wash filter, once every two months. Oh, <laughs> it's not a HEPA type filter. Oh, is that all it is? I was expecting it to be a pleated HEPA type with some sort of a seal around it, but no. I think there possibly were models with a HEPA type filter. This is all it is, look. There will be other filters to show you, but this is the exhaust filter, a combination of this very bright fluorescent yellow spongy fibrous material and then another finer material so obviously this is where the machine exhausts the air which will be I, I assume it'll be pretty dirty the air that exhausts out of this vacuum which way oh, I think it was that way wasn't it so that's that's the first filter and then the final filter is the little uh, the lighter color one so we'll just pop that back there on this side of the cleaner you can see we've got a foot operated power switch and also here foot operated handle release button reminiscent of the Hoover Pure Power <coughs> needs quite a lot of force to lower that and it does lock into that position until you press it again it does go fairly flat to the floor and when you put it back in the upright position the head does raise itself up so the brushes aren't going to be touching the floor when you're using the tools onto the front of the machine it's quite smart in this black it's very reflective got the electrolux obviously electrolux cyclonic light edge cleaning and these things which are just i think just for show for some reason dust traps they'll be I'm sure on machines that have had some use, they'll be full of dust. And in the middle, we have got a dial. Actually, you can, you can turn that with the machine. You don't have to tilt the machine back as you do with some machines. You can just turn it to the position you want. And obviously, when you recline the handle, it will assume the position. So from short pile carpet, Possibly for my carpet, I'll do it on that setting. And you can go up various settings, right up to long pile. So it's just hit and miss, trial and error, which setting is best for your carpets. Moving on to the Dyson Killing state of the art cyclonic system on this vacuum cleaner it's amazing that dyson are still in business today when electrolux were bringing out machines like this isn't it <laughs> you have to take this out from the bottom i think it levers there we go oh that's it oh look at that folks look at the technology that's gone into this that reminds me <laughs> you won't know this unless you're into washing machines that reminds me of the powder and lint tray of a hot point super twin but it was round it was on the top of the agitator you put the powder in it and as the water recirculated it trapped all the lint from your socks and pants look 
at that. Oh, it's hinged and everything. Look at that, folks. Wow. You can imagine the technology and design that went into making this. <laughs> I am being sarcastic. Can you tell? Can you tell? Where do you, do you just empty it like this? Is that what you have to do? Do you just do that? I assume you do. If you don't want to touch the dirt, you just take that. I think there's no other way of doing it, is there? No. You take that full of muck. For maximum performance, do not overfill. Empty dirt cup and check filtered filters frequently. Can't see a max fill line on this, so the max fill line, please, wouldn't have a leg to stand on because I can't see a max fill line. So basically you take that full of muck and shake that into the bin. So it's basically this side of it is where most of the big dirt should go, I would have thought. But there's no way that you're not going to get dirt in this side either. But where, how do you empty that out? This is, this is terrible folks. Here's another filter on the back. Um, let's see if we can open that. There we are. Ooh, there we go. Change, not wash. Change every three months for that filter. So that is one of the pre-motor filters. Because I can see another. I spy another one. So there we go. That's the bagless <laughs> unit. And inside here we can see another filter made of yeah, more or less the same stuff as the post motor but this one does say change the other one said wash but that says change every three months there's nothing nothing much under there just a, another little grill so it was that way up was it yes I think oh there we go there, that's in place. Absolute. Well, I think looking at the brush roll, I think it would probably pick up very well initially. But I think soon after, not very long, maybe only a week's or a cu couple of weeks use, I suspect that whoever bought this new would probably be regretting their purchase. But I think initially people would have been very happy with it because I think this is going to pick up well. So I think that's everything I can show you. On the cleaner itself, you've got the two wheels at the back, obviously. I quite like its looks somehow. It's not the most sleek looking machine here. Obviously, this is exhaust. No, it's not the exhaust. What am I talking about? I've just shown you the... Well, how bizarre is that? Another thing like the Hoover Pure Power that has that looks like it's got an exhaust vent, but it in fact isn't. Because of course the exhaust vent is, at, vent is at the back, like it is with the Pure Power, Hoover Pure Power. So, no idea why that's like that. I always thought that that was some sort of a vent, unless it is a vent to, to cool the motor, but I can't see... No, it doesn't look like it goes through how oh dear a nasty cracking noise so in order for me to turn this machine on i've no quick release hook i've just got to unhook it manually what a palaver okay let's plug it in there is a little bit of mess on the carpet and uh, we'll see how noisy this electrolux cyclonic light vacuum is the the growl I expected from the agitator I'm just going to check that because it's possible that the belt 
needs replacing. Poor bit of a burny smell as well. Oh yeah, not not keen on that smell. It's not a smell I expect from a, a new in the box vacuum. But oh, right. Let's uh, let's see if this brush oil is rotating. Yeah, it's rotating, and it's. Uh, I didn't want to put my hand on it too much because it was pretty. Um, yeah, I couldn't. I wouldn't have been able to stop that without hurting myself. So there's nothing wrong with that. It just doesn't seem to have the sort of oomph. I've got the hose in the socket for the suction. I'll just judge the suction in a minute. So yeah. Oh dear. I had such high hopes for this state-of-the-art vacuum cleaner. Never mind. I'll just check the old suction power just to make sure there is suction. Of course it's brand new so uh, it will have the maximum suction available. Yeah, it's got some suction but pff, not a lot to be honest. We can find out how much suction it's got with the gauge, can't we? There we are. Nice tight seal. We'll see where it goes. It's certainly not going to go to up to 80. I'm gonna I'm gonna sort of guess at 40. Let's see. Well, that's me with egg on my face. It actually went up to 80, which it didn't feel like it. Putting my hand over, certainly didn't feel like 80. It did feel a bit lacklustre. Yeah, well, I'll give it another go. Let's pop the hose back. I can actually see some dirt inside the bagless container from that small area of carpet I've just cleaned. Ooh, well there's some Look at the top of the cyclone there. There's very, well hardly nothing, <laughs> nothing in that side. So all the dirt must go. I just don't know where the dirt is supposed to go. Most of the dirt seems to be in the side with this single, I think that's the cyclone, is it? <laughs> sort of. It certainly, if it is a cyclone, it's a single cyclone. Oh dear. Can you imagine what this is going to be like if I do a proper demo of this? Ooh, I will do. I will do a proper demo. Well, I put more dirt down anyway. Just going to um, have a bit more of a clean anyway. I'm going to leave it on the shortest setting and we'll go over this carpet a bit more. Well, that sounded a bit different, didn't it? I could certainly hear the brush this time. Perhaps the first time I switched this on, I hadn't put the cyclonic unit back in place properly. That could result in reduced suction. But I could certainly, and I'm sure you could hear, the brushes on the carpet. Now, I've only done a very small area. But yeah, it's picked up, it's picked up more. Can you see that? more muck in there oh dear and there's already after just a few minutes of use it's starting it's a bit hard to see but it is starting it's starting to get dirty in there crikey <laughs> yeah it's not it's not probably not one i would have recommended back in the day if youtube had been going when this machine was in the shops 
Was it going when this machine was in the shops? I don't know, but I certainly wasn't on it. Oh, it is awful. It is awful. And this is what manufacturers like Electrolux did to try and compete with Dyson. Now, I expect this cleaner probably cleaned better. I would say, from my experience, it probably initially cleaned better than a Dyson upright grooming the carpet better, picking up more dirt, but it certainly wouldn't have been able to keep the dirt in very well. It's an appalling, appalling design. Whoever designed this needs to hold their head in shame. As a bagged version, a cheap, if it was in the cheap category, bagged, I expect it wouldn't have been bad. I mean, it is cheap, but the build quality isn't that bad. You know, I've, I've had far worse. But anyway, it's interesting. I saw it on eBay. I don't, I can't remember if it was a buy it now um, or an auction, but it didn't cost me a lot of money. It's just something I wanted to have a look at. Now, I will be featuring in a while. I'm not sure when, because I still haven't unboxed it, but I have got another Electrolux to look at of this era but it's the self-propelled one but I think it's basically the same same cyclonic system and everything so it'll be as poor as this but it has a self-propelled um, wheel on the back so it helps move itself around the room I got it because well self-propelled vacuum cleaners in the UK are pretty non-existent we had the Hoover power drive based on the dilematic um, and we had, I think we had a Dirt Devil. I think it was a Dirt Devil one, perhaps. I'm not sure. But anyway, in the UK, self-propelled vacuums weren't really a thing. With our smaller and cluttered homes, people didn't really need a vacuum that propelled itself. You know, we were happy in the day with a, with a Hoover Junior if we lived in a modest home or if we lived in a slightly bigger home. A Hoover Senior would have... Uh, more than uh, being adequate for our needs. Simpler times, of course. Now we're in the era of bagless and cordless. Well, here's bagless, but it still has a cord. But yeah, it's interesting for me to look at. I hope it was interesting for you. If you have any comments or questions about this Electrolux Cyclonic Light, please comment below and uh, I probably will put some proper dirt down and we'll just see how ineffective this cyclonic system really is. So stay tuned for that video coming up sometime in the next few years. But it will come up at some point, I can assure you. Until then, there'll be some other video for you next to look at. But uh, obviously, thumb up, like, subscribe, thumb down if you want to. I'm not fussed either way. But uh, do something at least. <laughs> Bye for now and I'll see you all soon.